Hey chat, how's it going? Frames are not going very well, apparently. Uh, hopefully it gets better. We lose some. That's fine, we have some time. Because I'm gonna practice first. So, hopefully it stabilizes during practice. Song is Scars of Time from Chrono Cross. Pretty good soundtrack. A game that I think it's, there's there's like divided opinions about it. I haven't played it. A lot of people like it. A lot of people also say the battle system was kind of weird. No idea about it. Sort of a spiritual successor. Successor. The Chrono Trigger, but not quite, but but yes quite, I don't know, listen, I haven't played. Alright. Hello, Amber. How's it going? How are you doing? One, two, three. There you go. This time, to load every single fight and practice every single fight. As me, I'm doing. I'm doing alright. Easy. Go for something harder. Such a start on an actual run. Done it right, nice. Okay. Actually, I might kill it. Yeah. Still not a double S if you get a an awesome. Maybe awesome plus AT would we'll do it. I might fail. Okay. The guards, it fails. So shoutouts to my Dreamness T-shirt programmer who helped me doing these triggers. It's gonna be the first run with the N intercent trigger, as you can see right here. On the lower corner.
Yeah, you need less than a 45 jump right there. As everyone knows, junk jumps are part of the run. Let's see if there is a timing for don't killing this pro. There is. It's rough though. Let's go like right there. I wanna see something. Yeah, I guess that's better. That you did this casually, you mean this jump in particular? Yeah, that one's rough. There's actually a standing jump because I had no idea where to go. <laughs> There's any standing jump strat too that I can only practice on console. I didn't realize you could just hold the ledge. <laughs> yeah. Stupid item, I still need to get. Stupid item. <laughs> Keep trying until it works. Roomba? The, the Roomba is on area three.
No, it's two kicks. Then an 18. Pretty sure this doesn't give a little less. I guess we can try. It doesn't. Oh, you mean those Roombas? Yeah, the, the, the tiny Roombas, yeah. Yeah, no, I wasn't calling that stupid. I was calling the stupid item for me is the, the, the Razor. I hate it. Because I need to get it. I don't want to get it. But I have to. Like Roombas, yeah, yeah. Doesn't it, it suck when your room lies floats? I got revenge for the item. I see. That's the lore. to roll a little bit yeah I heard that they are a little bit stupid Roombas Like apparently they, they have this mechanism, or not mechanism, like AI thing, I don't know what it is, maybe a laser, who knows, to recognize terrain, so they, you know, they, they go and they clean, but then if they're, let's say they're in a second floor and there's a stair, they go to the, to the, the edge of the stair and they stop. They recognize that, and so they turn around. But their AI kind of fucks up with some specific terrains. A sensor, yeah, exactly. Like, I was um, at Cousin's house not too long ago, and they had a Roomba. And so suddenly the Roomba started clean, and they started talking about the Roomba. And then, okay, and then suddenly, because we were outside, and there was this big, uh, like, window thingy. What do you call it? Like window door that, that goes to the courtyard so it was open and you see how the window doors have like this this thingy below like on the frame that it has like a lot of like different terrain features well the Roomba just went into that and just got there stuck and, and like and yeah apparently <laughs> Um, the sensor is not able to recognize that terrain. <laughs> like, it's it's fine with other terrains, but not that one. And he always, they told me that they always got stuck there. Oh, come on, dude. I was thinking about that. That's a, that's a shot. Oh, 
Oh yeah, because yeah. Okay. All right. Whatever you say, game. Learn that shit. That means he was the one from the right. Is the one from the left. Takes three times to learn on this area. Yeah, I'm now we're getting backspin. And it's I'm also injured. I could counter. Yeah, let's counter. Oh, come on. <laughs> because I did a step. Without that step, I would have countered successfully. Without the little step. Not having any of you today? That's because of hard. This never happens on normal. But these guys are rough and hard. At least the early ones can be, can be rough. Or this one in particular. It's a rough fight. It does a lot of fucking damage. I did two ATs. I should just jump, actually. Just to be safe. I really don't want to learn anything here. Oh, I can actually do that, but darn lucky. Oh yes, very, very fair, very fair game. So fair. It's definitely a reset point, I would call it, at least on, on card. And an ultimate, oof. Strategy is fine. Shot. Can counter next one if I'm unlucky. Looking like your life experience, <laughs> except the SS. <laughs> All right. <coughs> yeah, it it sucks when I beat beat up people, and I don't get a fucking item for it. Maybe you just were getting like A ranks. Maybe you, you, you weren't doing enough techniques. 
No, wait, let's start with 18. Guard failing on shot feels illegal. I mean, no, they, they don't fail. They don't fail. Like, maybe... Does it say fail? Because they, they actually guard it. They, they receive less damage. Believe it or not. That's why we, we do eye shot first. So they cannot guard the next one. The only one that you cannot guard is the iron shot because it's fucking like plasma cannon. It says fail. Okay, yeah, that's incorrect. You actually, you actually get it. Like guard does less damage. It's funny that it says fail. Man. When you guard it? Oh, okay. Yeah, but on, on both cases, it saves. It, it does less damage. Either you or your enemy. He's still funny. Chuck. Oh, I forgot. He loves to do that. Hang on. Um, eighty twice three. Wait a minute. Mmm. I didn't remember that. Oh, because that way he doesn't do the animation. Yeah, there you go. There's 80 immediately, and then 1.5 bars. Risky, but we'll go for it. Hopefully a step. Okay. Not a step, but he was slow. Anyways. Yeah, then he's the same for four. I, I had the... Yeah, it's fine. It's fa it said fail and it's funny. I see. Yeah, that's what I want. Unlucky. Hello, Mumbai. How's it going? Oh, come on. Okay, back up. Whoa. Oh my god, this guy. Oh, 
I like how he, how he guys, <clears throat> he has green vision, but the eye is red. I mean, there's there's nothing bad with it. Like I I don't have white eyes. Even though I can see every color, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see him black, but but still. <laughs> the electric hair. Which one? Ah, oh, come on. To fucking turn around. I'm dead. There is this thing called, so you see, we humans have, I guess you can call it delta chromatism, or tree, tree, like tree chromatism, whatever you want to call it, like we have three um, cones, well they're, they're called conos on, on Spanish, I don't know if they're called cones on English. Um, Uh, but yeah, like you, you have like three basic colors and you combine them, sort of. But then there's people that have tetra chromatism, and they have an extra cone, extra like set of cones between. I think it's like green and blue, so it's not. It's not something towards ultraviolet or infrared, but instead it's something in the middle. So it is not clear if they actually see more colors, but maybe. I mean, it's hard because, like, how does a person that see more colors, like, tell a person that doesn't see those colors, hey, I can see those colors? It's hard. Now, that said, 
apparently they are like slightly better at recognizing like small color differences, you know, which makes sense because the cones are in between other combinations. So it doesn't actually expand the range like in terms of frequency, but in in terms of like detail, let's say. Maybe. I say maybe because I don't know how much research there is about it. And it's also kind of a, um, you know, like... Like, word of mouth topic. Like, you, you basically need to base your... Your research on interviews with the people. Like, it, it's hard to measure stuff. Also, if anyone is able to... Eat mollifying in the head. I'm gonna pay you ten dollars. There's a bounty. That's my bounty. If you're able to hit, like, to make mollifying unconscious, unconscious, you get ten dollars from me. describe a thing that someone isn't capable of experiences yeah sounds like being trans Okay, I'll show you something. Let's make all these sucker explode first. That is a Battle Charger X behind Super Mollifying. And then I die. Also, this fucking early. It's a, like a super late game item. Okay, this is the AT back kick times two. Yeah, okay. Oh. 
There's just so many. So many, many, like... Let me just run. You funny little game. You funny little shit. Should be a double S, but that's because I took too much time. out of the feed I hope if I die yeah <laughs> like if anyone kills me oof <laughs> just just get a lot of tiny Roombas explosive Roombas and then they pay for it Alright, Kit Alpha 2.5. AT back kick twice. That's that's easy. I don't really need to practice that. Go for Gamesa. Yeah, of course. Because you, you want the Roombas to avenge, avenge you. Okay, so here is a T 2.5 by kick stomp. you game dude just because I wasn't looking I guess I can finish with a uh, an RH yeah decent backup sucks that I don't level stomp but whatever and then the worst enemy Okay, AT, 2.7, 3 by kicks. Oh yeah, I need to, like if I can, I want to trigger one attack, so then it goes for this. Yeah. 
I almost didn't have an angle there. Steel sucked because of the always turn around of this enemy. Because it counters. Crab man. The other day I was going to make a joke about crabs. Like that someone was a crab because it always moves sideways. But I can't remember like if it was a joke about someone or or a, a character in a game. It was such a good joke, but I just cannot remember. So But yeah, I just I just bring it like this, so if maybe someone can think of something. No, this is this is like Fitch Fitch guy, I think. It's a bar, right? That, that's the name, Sebastian. You give me the points, yeah, but I I won the joke because it was good. I think. One, two. Bad. Oh yeah, you're super delayed. Actually, I don't think you are the delayed one. I think it's my OBS. My OBS is always delayed at first. So I, I blame OBS. What the fuck, booty? What the fuck? That's pretty good. You always want that kind of knockdown. So then it's easy to link more back kicks. Let's see, I'm going to update the chat a little bit. I can do a normal kick. Okay. And with offensive answer, it's two power bars. And um, back kick twice. Just half stun. All right. Now, as we know, now need to jump the first attack. Darius AT back kick twice. We All right, let's jump a little bit.
Hopefully it helps. <laughs> did it help? <laughs> How much did that do? Three. I should never do that. That that camera thing was so bad because it fucked me up later. What the fuck? work. I should always have at least one record right here. Yeah, okay. That's still pretty good. Okay, was it that delayed? Th like, that's the thing. Like, I, I put update, you know, like, on, on the... Um, like, refresh, not update. Refresh on the fucking chat. And then it says, welcome to the chat. And then, like, 10 seconds after or 15 seconds after it says new which is when you actually are welcome to the chat and you can see what's going on right now before that the, the welcome to the chat is, is actually fake I type that I, I type what Exactly when you read the message, that that kind of sounds like like I was advancing time, like it predicted your message. You know exactly what you're gonna what you're gonna write before you even do it. One of my trans powers. This is a little bit scary in my position. Okay. Same difference. Is read my <laughs> The other thing about, weird about OBS, sometimes it, it, it does it inconsistently. Like sometimes it shows your message, like five of your messages in time, and then the sixth message decides to do it super late. It's so weird. I almost don't want to practice this on emulator because it works actually different on console because of my stick. But whatever, I might practice it on console actually, like a couple times. Uh, same about Foma Keep. Let's see, what else that is like really important? I mean, there's a lot of things, but I don't want to break this every single thing. If I'm being honest. Maybe Alex? Yeah, Alex seems fine. Um, 
Okay. Okay, actually. One, two, step. One, two, three. Small, small, one, two. That's the one I want. Was it that? Yeah, if it's three ions too. Let's jump to Gunso. Or it's a tiny we don't practice on Abby's jump and form a hot skip. The shot collection, <laughs> yeah. We got so many. Eight one. That's the one for former Houtskip, and this is the one for Abyss Jump. Hello, no, no. Was the jacuzzi? Okay, I'm getting some stuff ready. Hang on. Got the Ricky by almost forty seconds. Nice. GG's. Yeah, like, the this thing is so fucking sen- Look at that, it's so sensible. <laughs> it makes it, like, easy to die. <laughs> because I'm- I'm- I got a little bit of muscle memory with the- with the other one. I shouldn't just never practice Abby's jump on- on emulator. If I feel like my run is too good, my first one, thank you for the follow, Felix. Um, and I really want to finish because, you know, I've, I've literally finished one running hard in my life. So it shouldn't be that hard to beat it. So if I feel it, like it's too good, uh, I might just don't do Abyss Jump, actually, on that run. Like, it, it saves like 20 seconds, I think. They're not just super sensitive, regular control sticks just suck. 
No, I actually, I, I like it. I feel like it's... It's pretty good. I'm, I'm just kind of on the muscle memory of emulator, where my range is like super reduced. What was that gel? What, what gel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how you die in this game. But this still looks a little bit ass. That's pretty much just how it looks on my TV, by the way. <laughs> but it's still better than my previous capture, the one I have on the on the records, the old records. What? Okay, that's fine. We we get this. We get a glitch fight. First time, first time I get it like that. I, I I should like go full wall mode. Hello, back you. Yeah, for N sixty four, I think it looks it looks fine. What's that face? Yo Yoshi Yoshu Yogi Yogi Your inner soul the speedrun yeah Like link between worlds speedrunner Mirror impression. It just needs. There you go, full wall mode. Do a BRB and I'll be back with runs. What do I have on music? Let's see. Karakiri, maybe? You know, we were talking about... <laughs> about Search the other day. <laughs> Let's just put a, a Search song. Okay, stick around for runs.
Welcome back. It's Harakiri from Search Tankian. I am actually not the biggest fan of Search Solo Career. I think it's fine. But it's also like a little bit forgettable. That song in particular, I like it. My favorite song is Empty Walls from him. And this might be like my second favorite. And then all the others, I I, I kind of just don't remember them. <laughs> I think in terms of, of being a solo artist, or not necessarily a solo, I guess, well, I don't know if Malakian counts as a solo artist on Scars. It's actually a band, uh, so can't really say. But if we have to compare projects, like projects outside of Season of a Down, I like Malakian stuff better. I think Scars on Broadway, it's like, it's so good on its own. And it sucks to compare those two, but it's kind of inevitable, honestly. Because they were, you know, the front voices of, of this band for so much. That was, like, so influential. I can't help but compare them. <laughs> Alright. Can't speak for the rest of it because I haven't heard one. That was alright. Yeah, that, it's pretty good. I wish he, he would have more songs like that. He just doesn't have a whole lot like that. I feel like the biggest problem of Surge is that he's a little bit too obsessed. He's kind of a boys virtuoso, quote unquote. He actually doesn't sound that great <laughs> live, but at least on studio, he's definitely a boys virtuoso. And sometimes it feels like one of these vir like guitar virtuosos that just go on and on. Um. You know, like, imagine, like, kind of the Joe Satriani style on guitar, but for boys. And so a lot of the time, it feels like, yeah, like, you're doing a lot of cool shit with your voice, but does it, does it add anything to the actual song? Also, his lyrics are decent. But not that great. I, I like Malakian lyrics better. I think they are more irreverent. But at the same time, like... They they actually feel irreverent. And, like, funny. And, like, I know I'm irreverent. And fuck you. Whereas Tangian is more like... I want to be irreverent. But I'm also trying to be too serious at the same time. Kind of like that. That's like the, the the feeling I get from it. Thank you for the good luck. I'm actually recording. You know what? I'm starting again. I had the other audio source. One second. Like your crunchy graphics. It's part of the aesthetics. Like I feel like N64, you know, it wasn't this period of time where the 3D and the same is true for PlayStation. 
the 3D is just not quite there. Like on GameCube, for example, I think I feel like a lot of things in GameCube age pretty well, and they're like amazing 3D graphics even by today's standards, or at least by my standards, because I'm old. But whatever. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm a believer that Metro Prime still looks fucking amazing. Uh, whereas N64, you kind of need these, you know, these filters. This CRT filter to make it look good, I think. Like, if you go too crispy with emulator things, I actually think it doesn't look that great because you see too, too many, like, wacky details, you know? And the same is true with PlayStation. The fucking wobbly uh, graphics of PlayStation, I think they're part of the aesthetic. And it's funny because there's actually some modern, like super modern, like one year ago, two years ago, indie games that go for the wacky filter, the wacky PlayStation graphics, wobbly and all that, on purpose, as part of an aesthetic. Like pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I would like to to see how this game looks on S video, because I I never got an, an S video cable. Just to just just to see it, you know. But I would need to see it on my CRT, you know. Like a video of it doesn't really do anything for me. All right, first glitch of the run. Hang on. We don't, we don't get a lot of those, so I hope you enjoy that. Not particularly a glitchy beer game. RF adapter, what is that? We're in the opposite direction. Oh, you have an, an S video and you want composite? Yeah, you tell him. You tell him, Nightbot. You have composite? Oh yeah, I have composite too. Coaxial cable, like the super all connection, I see. All right, if it's one of that plugs into the antenna port. Oh, I see. Yeah, I had that for my SNS when I was young. Like decades, decades from now. I don't have that that's nest anymore. I, the idea was to like super sweet spot add. That's why I, I put myself on, on that spot. Super mega sweet spot. Now it's not a double S.
Normally I would reset there. But fuck it. Like I, I need to, to get get going into this run. I need my body to remember the rest of the run. Those got broken and repaired. Nice. That's like such a useful skill to have. You know, where where a lot of things are not really made to last very much. Did betray me there, though. It's a little bit of a cursed start. Yeah, my dad is like that. My dad builds a lot of stuff with electronics. I also like to build stuff, but I'm more of a an art person than a practical person. Like, I, I don't build things that work. You know what I mean? Wacky jumps. Here we go. The first one. Very good one. There's more lag on this part, on console. Fuck you, dude. I jumped too late. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Yes. I'm only visiting on like ultra mega mistake or if I die. The single segment run. Maybe I should reset here though. Thanks. 
No, yeah, I made a lot of cool shit. I'm not saying it's not cool. I'm just saying it's like not useful. Or like electronic. I do have a limit though.